What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So today we're just going to go in and we're actually just going to mess around with Artisan. Artisan's an organic tool set for SketchUp and uh, we're just going to kind of come in here and work with some sh shapes and see what we can create. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing I want to note is I am an affiliate for Artisan so if you guys do purchase through the link down below I do receive a commission for that. I always want to be 100% clear um, when I'm an affiliate for products. Uh, that being said, um, it is on sale for the next couple weeks, so you may want to go check it out. This is a great way to kind of get into organic modeling with this tool set. So anyway, but let's just kind of jump into this real quick. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to come in here and we're just going to kind of uh, create some rectangles. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle and then uh, we're going to copy the end in a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to use the scale tool to just kind of mess around with the shape a little bit. And part of the reason that we're starting off like this is um, Artisan is one of those extensions where uh, modeling with quads is really helpful. And what I mean by modeling with quads is what it does is it comes in here and it basically subdivides shapes. And so a good way to kind of start off working with this is to kind of draw your shapes in here as quads. And a quad is just a shape with like four different sides. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're just going to kind of rotate these up just a little bit just to give them a little bit of a angle, that kind of thing. So we're just basically selecting faces and just kind of rotating them up so they have kind of this wing shape just like this. Then once we do this, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a copy of this and then flip it. Um, and I usually use the scale tool to do that. And then we're just gonna kind of move this back together and we can erase the line in the middle here. That gives us kind of this wing shape. And so what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna make this a component. So we're gonna come in here and we'll just call this wing segment. And then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of start moving this along a path just like this. So we're gonna create a copy of this with the move tool. Then we're gonna use the rotate tool to rotate it up about 15 degrees, just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an extension called memory copy, and I'll link to this in the notes down below. But uh, memory copy basically allows you to take what you've done to a component and continue doing it over and over and over again. So you can see how I move this over and then I rotated it up. Well, this is gonna do the same thing. And so when you install memory copy, what you can do is you just right click on your original component and there's an option down here for play it again. And once you get the play it again option, you just keep clicking on this next piece just like this and you can see how it'll just continually kind of do what you just did there. So it just kind of repeats this, you know, moving it, then rotating it, and then moving it, and then rotating it. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing, but now we're going to rotate it 15 degrees in the other direction just like this and then we'll do the same thing but with this object up here. So we'll right click, we'll click play it again, and then we'll just click on this face until this object comes through and it does kind of a 180 in here just like this. And I think, no, that's good. And then really what we can do now is we can just move a copy of this piece over here using the move tool in copy mode. We can flip this just like this and then we'll just move this object over here. And so what we've got is we've got this cool kind of like roller coastery shape um, that kind of comes up and over in a, um, along this 180 degree path. Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're actually going to explode these objects. We use the component to come in here. Well, there's actually two different things we could do. The first thing we could do is we could come in here to one of these components and we could just use an extension like joint push pull and just pull one of these faces and you can see how it's going to pull all of those just like that. The problem is you get some kind of like overlap and stuff like that which isn't exactly what we want. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and you, these are all components so we're just going to select them, we're going to right click and we're going to explode them just like this. So now they're all individual geometry, they don't have that, uh, they don't have that component link to each one of the objects anymore. And then once we do that, once these are all faces, we're gonna use an extension called joint push pull. And we're gonna push pull these objects. And what this does is um, this extension allows you to push pull multiple faces at once. And I'll link to that in the notes as well. But we're just gonna come in and I'm gonna use this one for round push pull, um, just like this. And I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna click and drag and you can see how this push pulls all of these different faces just like this. And so now I've got kind of this almost like a spine type shape 
you can see how this got all these different thicknesses and stuff like that. And for the most part, you're not seeing a lot of overlap in here. There seems like there's a little bit, but it's a lot better than what it was when we push pulled them as components. So, and then once we've got this object, all we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna select it. And then we're gonna come up here to Artisan. So, and you can get that by visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash artisan, or I'll make a note note of that in the notes below. But all we're gonna do is we're gonna click this first option in here for subdivide and smooth. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us kind of a preview, just like this. You can see how basically what it's doing is it's coming in here and it's subdividing all these faces to make them more organic. And then you see where it says input one to four iterations. What we're gonna do is we're gonna type in two and hit the enter key. And what that's gonna do is you can see how that comes in here and that subdivides us even more gives us this nice smooth um, shape just like this and so this is basically preview mode and then and then all you have to do from here is just hit that inner key for it to come in here and finalize that geometry and depending on how fast your machine is that may take a little while I'm gonna go ahead and hit the inner key I could come in here and subdivide this even more but I feel like this is a pretty smooth mesh so we're just gonna kind of leave it as is so I'm just gonna hit that inner key and then I'm gonna let it work and you can see how down in the corner right now, it says creating geometry 24%. My PC's gotten a little bit slow, so it's not necessarily gonna keep, uh, it's not necessarily gonna keep this running on your screen while it's going, but it is going in there and creating that geometry. So you're just gonna have to wait for a little bit and let it make that geometry. All right, perfect. So now if you come in here, you can see there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of overlap over here on these objects right here, but generally speaking, this creates this like a really smooth organic type shape in here. And so once you kind of get down this kind of modeling, um, it gets a lot easier to, uh, it gets a lot easier to kind of use this to create some organic shapes. So I will say that I struggle a little bit with this kind of modeling. Like my brain just doesn't necessarily work this way. So I'm having to kind of come in here and kind of learn some of this as I go. But I will say that, uh, there we go. So you can just erase out these extra faces on the back side here. But I will say the more you do this, the more application you find for it and the better you get at it. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Um, are you interested in doing organic modeling with an extension like Artisan? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. So the link to Artisan is in the notes below. Like I said before, I am an affiliate for Artisan, so if you do end up purchasing a copy of that through that link, I will receive a commission. But it also has a 15-day free trial, so you might as well go check it out and see if you like it. Either way, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.